Lovely, Miss Hannigan. Red, is that you? Yeah, I'm outside the elevator door. You okay in there? Well, I've been better. You think you can get me out of this tin can? I'm gonna try. Just hang tight, okay? Oh, I'm hanging, thanks to your friend Drake. Any last words, Miss Hannigan? Perhaps you want to apologize to Annie for all the pain you've caused her? Annie and I are working it out, Mr. Roboto. So why don't you just open this door and let the humans do our thing? She's right, Drake. This isn't you, and this isn't the way. Why not? I see what she's doing to you, Annie. Twisting your head around, making you think you can trust her. She's not your friend, and she never will be. Oh, and you are? I may be confused, but I've been here for her since she was a little girl. I was there to soothe her to sleep when she had nightmares. Nightmares about you, Miss Hannigan. Don't you remember, Annie? How she tortured you in that orphanage? What are you? Oh, just standing around here for? You're supposed to clean the What is that? Oh, what is that? That's not me. It's playing scenes from the movie they made about us. Ugh, always hated that movie. And then. When you finally had a chance at happiness with Mr. Warbucks, she tried to take it away from you. Drake, you're right. Miss Hannigan did hurt me and my friends. She was cruel and selfish. But she wasn't all bad. She took care of me. I wouldn't be here without her. I don't want her to die. Annie, I was programmed to make your life perfect, to keep you safe and happy. You've had so much heartbreak. Imagine how much better everything will be once she's gone. This is not going well, Red. Do something before he cuts the cord. I'm trying. His programming is corrupted. Yeah, no kidding. What's that? I'm receiving a call. It's... Mr. Warbucks? Dad? Drake, can you put it on speaker? Hello? Mr. Warbucks? Drake, I understand we have a problem. A problem, sir? This is unacceptable behavior. I demand that you release your hold on the building and do whatever Annie tells you to do. That's an order. Drake, are you hearing me? You're not Oliver Warbucks. Of course I am. Annie, this is a fake. I've detected the software being used to modulate your friend Tessie's voice. Oh my goodness. Drake, wait! Voice clarification. Sorry, Annie. Tr now that we've gotten through that misguided attempt, say your goodbyes, Miss Hannigan. No! Please! Wait, on second thought, Drake, I think you're onto something. What? I mean, the thought of getting Miss Hannigan off my back once and for all is pretty tempting. Excuse me? I just have one favor to ask, to make up for what happened in the car. As long as you understand, I have to operate in your best interest. Of course. I want you to let me in the elevator. Why? so I can look Miss Hannigan in the eye when I say goodbye. Forever. Ms. Hannigan, if you try to escape when I open the door, I will drop the elevator car into the sub-basement. 
Thanks for the warning, pal. Sandy! Now you want in? I'll give you five minutes to say goodbye, Annie. Thanks, Drake. That's generous of you. And one last favor. Miss Hannigan and I, a relationship is personal and complicated. You think? I would appreciate it if for the next five minutes... Four minutes, 42 seconds. I'd appreciate it if I could speak with her privately. Please? All right. Privacy mode engaged. Four minutes, 31 seconds. Make room. Are you nuts? What are you doing? You climbed into the crate with me, didn't you? Well, we're clearly both deranged and so's your dog. No arguments here. What was that? Drake reminding us that he's in control. Like we were gonna forget? I would ask you what the plan is, but I've learned my lesson on that front. I'm working on it. So let's see. We're on floor 82, right? Why did you move me up those 20 floors today? You're blaming me for this? You think dropping from 62 would have been safer? No, I mean why? I didn't even twist your arm this time. We don't have time for this. Was it a trick? A trick? No. My dad told me it's the job of the boss to put team members where they'll do their best work. Wait, when did he say that? Last night. Come again. Since he went missing, he shows up sometimes. Talks me through things. Sounds weird, right? Oh, I get it. I talked to a bunch of people when I was locked up alone in prison. My mother, my brother Rooster, even you. You talk to me? Cursed you, mostly. So your father... (gasps) Is he here now? Nah, never when anyone else is around. Too bad. I was hoping he might have some ideas about how to get us out of this nightmare. Three minutes. Thirty seconds. Actually, maybe he does. See, after the adoption, my dad started to bring in experts to train me. Train you for what? Whatever. Robbers, kidnappers, zombie apocalypse. How about a rise of the machines? Anything that might try to hurt me. Sounds paranoid, right? Well, I never had a dad to worry about me, so I'm probably the wrong person to ask. Yeah. Anyway, one of my dad's concerns was the idea that someone might try to take Warbucks Tower. You mean, like Die Hard? I don't know what that is, but okay. He taught me the schematics of the building, every hidden hallway and emergency exit. And he secretly had a team build safe spaces for me. Are you saying... I'm saying, see that tiny A in the corner of the ceiling? There's a hatch in here that only I know about. May I ask where said hatch goes? The hatch goes to a system of vents. Small tunnels, basically. They cut through the guts of the building all the way from the sub-basement to the roof. And I can fit through these small tunnels? They were built for an 11-year-old. Dad never got around to expanding them. Probably hoping I'd stay little forever. Oh, great. Two minutes. Time to think about leaving, Annie. You gotta go. Even if I somehow fit, how is Drake not gonna notice if I go missing? Leave that part to me, okay? Sandy will lead the way. You just follow that dog butt and don't stop. Follow the dog butt, perfect. Go, Sandy. Here, I'll give you a boost, Miss Hannigan. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. (sighs) Oh, that looks like a pretty tight squeeze. One minute, Annie. Is he cheating on time? 30 seconds. He's cheating on time. That's not fair. Can you fit? Good thing I've been living on prison food for five years. <gasps> Let's do this. Go, Sandy. Who needs a rip cage? Just keep going and don't stop until you see sunlight. Time's up, Annie. Privacy mode disengaged. Step out, please. Give me a sec. Where is she? Where did she go? Where did who go? Drop elevator. (laughs) 
Stop hitting me with your tail! <gasps> what was that? Oh, how does that chubby Santa fit down chimneys? Stupid hips! Pull the cab over right here, by the bodega. You got it! Are you sure this is a place, Pepper? Adam lives in a grocery store? This is the address he gave me, and he was outside here the other day. We're gonna need you to keep the meter running. For how long? Relax, buddy. We're not gonna ditch the fair. We're just picking up a friend. Although he doesn't know it yet. Shh. Are we ready with the plan? So ready. Let's go, Tess. Okay. Everybody know their jobs? As soon as I see Adam coming, I'm going to pretend that I'm terribly hurt. Like so. Let me just get down on the ground and rehearse. Ooh, cold pavement. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness! I am wounded! I am terribly wounded! Maybe tone it down some, Shakespeare. You're giving me notes on my performance? Hey, what are you girls up to? Mind your business, cab driver. Molly, what's your job? When Adam stops to tend to Tessie's injuries, I do what I do best. I lower my shoulder and check him right into the open door of the cab. Where I am waiting to grab him. Then we all pile back into the car and head to the orphanage where- What's going on here? What are you three doing? <gasps> Adam! Oh my good, grab him now! Come on, get him! No, push him harder! Oh, ah. right. no, no, no. What is this? I can't just let you grab him! Drive! Just drive! Miss Hannigan, come out, come out, wherever you are. Drake, just leave her alone. I'm not able to. My emotions are troubled. She has to be punished, Annie. Drake, hang on! Please tell me she's almost at the roof and not stuck in a tunnel somewhere. I wasn't sure if you'd remember the hatch in the elevator. You drilled it into my head enough. When in doubt, find the tiny A and go to a safe space. And aren't you glad I did? Yes. I'm grateful for everything you've taught me. You taught me much more than I could ever teach you. Hmm, probably true. You know, if I'd been in your situation, I might have let Drake give old Hannigan the drop. You would not. No. Probably not. You've made me soft. Oh, yeah. You're a real teddy bear. <laughs> Miss Hannigan. So, what are we going to do about our friend? You built him. You know, he wasn't always like this. You mean vengeful and dangerous? That too, but I mean before someone hacked his system. <laughs> when he was my friend. Yes. Drake was never designed to be so... human. I built him to organize my business, run my household, so that I didn't have to rely on people. You reprogrammed him after I came around? No. I didn't have to. Drake just... changed. You changed him, Annie. Like you changed me. You were already human. You just didn't want to admit it. Maybe so. I'm scared, Dad. To lose you. And Drake. I'd be worried if you weren't scared. But you know what you have to do, don't you? Yeah. I know what I have to do. This is kidnapping. Oh, stop being so dramatic. You threw me into a cab and brought me here to this... What is this place? It's an orphanage. It used to be an orphanage. You brought me to this... Former orphanage against my will. Th I, this is the very definition of kidnapping! Well, sure. But if you really didn't want to be here, you could have run as soon as you got out of the cab. I was afraid the little one would tackle me on the sidewalk. He's probably right. Can you at least tell me what I'm doing here, besides being your hostage? Annie needs your help. I already told you I don't want to be in the middle of this mess. Have you seen this mess? Well, many of the employees were 
were able to escape from the building. Reports are that Annie Warbucks is still inside. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm saying! Please, can you do something? Maybe. Okay. Where do we start? Only one thing fixes this. We need to shut Drake down. Oh, look at that, Sandy! Sunlight! We made it! We made it to the roof! You're covered in grease and my organs may be permanently compacted, but I'm alive! Take that, Drake, you dumb machine! I'm not going down that easily! <laughs> Hannigan is on the roof. Security drones assemble. You gotta be kidding me! Ugh! We're trapped up here! Wait, what's that? Yes! A helicopter! I'm saved! Down here! S.O.S! Who are you? Get in the chopper, ma'am. I'm not just flying off with any old Joe. For all I know, you're- Oh, here come the killer drones. Ma'am, it's now or never. Fine, I guess I choose the devil I don't know. Come on, Sandy, come on. Get on board. I'm supposed to be in charge of you. Oh, your collar came off. Fine, I'll keep it for you. Good luck, dog.